Lane Hudson makes his Habs debut and NHL debut tonight. Welcome to Rick's preview for game number 81, Montreal in Detroit to take on the Red Wings. Hey, everybody. I'm Rick. Welcome to Talking Habs. So it is game number 82, uh, one, excuse me, and uh, Lane Hudson's making his debut. We're going to get him for two games. Um, so I've got all the uh, that info here, some news. I have uh, the stats for the game. I've got the lineups, well, Montreal's lineup. And I have the guess the score contest, guess the score of the game. And the first goal scorer of the game, you can pick that guy from either team. And if you are the first person in the uh, comments with that guess, and you're from Canada, you win the prize. $10 directly into your bank account via Interact. Interact is the reason why it's got to be in Canada. Um, so uh, we are doing the game tonight. Just want to get this out there. The Puck Around podcast is going live, We're doing a watch party for the game, and right here on this channel and on the other channel. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk hockey. We're going to talk about a bunch of things. And uh, most importantly, we're going to watch Lane Hudson's debut. All right. Uh, we are not showing the game, though, but uh, you watch along with us and we'll have a good time. All right, that's not what I wanted to do. It is uh, Lane Hudson Day, and I'm crazy. Lane Hudson will wear number 48. So uh, if you're looking for him, he's not the smallest guy on the ice because he's 5'10". He's not 5'7", and uh, he'll wear number 48. Uh, so a Montreal win tonight in regulation will eliminate Detroit from playoff contention. The Wings need all four points versus Montreal in the last two games. They're tied with the Caps with 87 points. And uh, the Caps hold the tiebreaker, uh, I think, with more wins. So the Caps hold the tiebreaker. They have to win both games, get four points, and hope the Caps in their two games don't get four points. I think that's how it works. The Wings have five goals in each of their last two games, uh, but only won one. They lost in, I think, a shootout in the other one. Uh, but are defensively challenged. So they're scoring a lot, but they're also giving up a lot of goals. They basically give up as many goals as they have scored for the season total. Uh, the Habs PK will be put to the test after giving up three power play goals in the last game against Ottawa. Um, uh, the, the Red Wings PK is at 23%, something like that. We'll find out in a sec. Saturday's 5-4 loss to Ottawa was Montreal's 42nd one-goal game. It's a lot of one-goal games in a season. Alex Newhook has 14 goals, 19 assists for 33 points, and those uh, totals tie his career uh, high in goals and points in, um, I guess, actually goals, assists, and points. I don't see how any other way it would be. Um, and that's in 52 games. Uh, he did that in Colorado in 71 games to get the previous high. All right, <clears throat> I'm just going to, there you go. No, I'm not going to edit that, maybe. Um, both games between these two teams this season have gone to overtime, and they split those games. Both teams lost, uh, last two games have gone to overtime as well. So there's a good chance that this game goes to overtime. I'm going to find out. Um, also, uh, Luke Tuck. Either did or didn't sign a two-year ELC. I don't know. I kind of, I don't know. It's mentioned out there. You can find it out there. I don't know if it's been confirmed because I saw people questioning it. So I don't know. But apparently he signed a two-year ELC. I imagine two years because he they had nowhere for him to play. Couldn't play with the Rocket. And I don't think they have a spot for him right now uh, in Montreal. So I think uh, it starts next year. And runs for two instead of him burning the first year and whatever. I think that's how it works out. All right. For the guess to score contest, I'm going to give you my guess right now. I'm going with 4-3 Montreal in overtime and Nick Suzuki getting the first goal. Um, yeah, there you go. I got nothing else after that. Now, let's get to the game. The 30-36 and 14 Montreal Canadiens in Detroit. To take on the 39, 32, and 9 Detroit Red Wings. How to watch this game. Start time 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. In Canada, Sportsnet across the board in English um, and RDS in French in the Habs region only. 
in the Red Wing Red, Red Wings region. Say that ten times. Bally Sports Detroit X, streaming ESPN Plus, RDS, and Sportsnet Plus, or now, but that's what I got to watch it on, and I hate that that site. All right, season series. Uh, two games played so far. Like I said, both in overtime. First one was in Detroit. Montreal wins 3-2. And then uh, that was November 9th. December 2nd, 5-4 uh, Montreal. No, Detroit in Montreal. Busy day today, and I'm nervous for some reason. I don't know why. Last 10 games, Canadians, 4-4-2. Four, four, and two. They lost their last two to the Islanders and to Ottawa. Uh, overtime loss to the Islanders. Shootout loss to Ottawa. They have beaten Colorado, Philadelphia, Florida, and Philadelphia again in those 10 games. Red Wings, 3-4-3. Three, and three. They won against Toronto in overtime uh, their last game, but lost to Pittsburgh in overtime the game before. They also beat Buffalo and Tampa. So not the record they'd want trying to qualify for the playoffs. Home and away record. Montreal away is 14-26, and 26, and Detroit at home is 22-18. and 18. Atlantic standings, top to bottom, Boston, 109 with uh, two games left. Florida has 108 with one game left. Uh, Toronto, 102, and Tampa, 96. That's your top four. They've got the X's there, so they clinched. Detroit with 87, Buffalo, 82, Ottawa, 76, and Montreal with 74. This is the bottom 10 in the league. Top to bottom, New Jersey, 81, Calgary, 79, Seattle, 79, Ottawa, 76, Arizona, 75, Montreal, 74, Columbus, 64, Anaheim, 57, Chicago, 41, and San Jose, 47. That's the bottom four there. I don't think that's going to change, right? Not enough games to change it. All right. Tail of the tape. Uh, we'll start with scoring chances for percentage. 44.8% for Montreal 29th, 44.3% uh, for the Red Wings 30th. So almost the same. Goals per game, 2.80 for Montreal 27th, 3.33 for Detroit. That's ninth, so they're top 10 in goals. Goals against per game, 3.40 for Montreal 26th, and 3.31 for Detroit 24th. So like I said, give up as much as they score. Power play percentage, 17.7% for Montreal 26th and 23.2% for the Red Wings 9th, top 10 power play. PK percentage, 76.4 for Montreal 23rd and 79.3 for Detroit 17th. Head-to-head, 1-0-1 -oh Montreal's record, as is Detroit's record. In face-offs, Montreal 51.4% at the dot, 11th in the league. And uh, Detroit, 50.7%, uh, 14th in the league. Shots on goal allowed. Shots on goal, four per game. On the allowed side, 33.3 for Montreal, 32.5 for Detroit. And shots on goal, four, 27.7 for Montreal, 28.8. So it's weird. Players to watch over the last five games for points. Mike Matheson has nine points in his last five. Um, and uh, Lucas Raymond with eight. So those guys are close. Goals. Cole Caulfield, five goals in his last five games. And I think it's seven and seven right now. Uh, Dylan Larkin with four. Assists, Mike Matheson, eight. And David Perron, five. And plus minus, Matheson with a plus four. And Jeff Petrie with a plus five. Two guys traded for each other. Not from Detroit, though. Uh, team leaders in goals, Suzuki with 33 and Dylan Larkin with 33. Uh, points, Suzuki with 76 and Lucas Raymond with 69. Uh, average time on ice, Matheson, 25-32 and Moritz Sider, 22-14. Wins, Monty has 16 and Alex Lyon has 20. And I don't have confirmation on this, but I do believe it'll be Monty and Alex Lyon tonight. Uh, let's see. Red Wings, top five in scoring. Lucas Raymond, 29 goals, 40 assists for 69 points and a minus 16. Dylan Larkin, 33 and 34 for 67 points and a plus one. Alex DeBrinkett, 26 and 39 for 65 points and a minus three. Shane Gostasbeer, 
10 and 41 for 51 points and a minus 19. And Patrick Kane, 20 and 26 for 46 points. And that's in 48 games uh, for a minus four with that. Uh, so that's, I mean, 48. I wouldn't have thought he could have that production this year. I did not give that to him going into the season. Habs top five. Nick Suzuki leads the way. 33 goals, 43 assists, 76 points, minus 12. Caulfield, 27 and 37 for 64 points and a minus four. Matheson, 11 and 51 for 62 points and a minus 23. Uh, Slavkovsky, 19 and 29, 48 points, minus 19. And Alex Newhook, 14 and 19, 33 points and a minus 11. Goalies tonight. As I said, I believe it'll be Monty and Lyon. Uh, Monty is 16, 15, and 8. 310 goals against and a 904 save percentage. And Alex Lyon is 20, 18, and 5. 303 goals against and a 906 save percentage. These are um, from last game. I don't think they're going to change the forward line. So Suzuki, Caulfield, Slaff, Newhook, Gallagher, Armia, Evans, Harvey Pinard. Anderson, and Dvorak, Pozzetta, Ullinen. These are what I thought the defensive pairings would be without having gotten them ahead of time. With Lane Hudson, um, I thought Hudson would be uh, paired with Savard on the third pairing. Uh, that Struble would move up and play with Kovacevic and Matheson and Barron, but this is actually how it is. Matheson and Barron, Hudson and Savard, Harris and Kovacevic. So Struble's out. And uh, I don't know that Hudson and Savard will be second pairing necessarily because sometimes you see it and it's not like that. But that's probably how it is going to be. So he starts off as a top four defenseman, Hudson, and uh, figured he'd be paired with uh, Savard. So there you go. That's, uh, I guess that's the preview. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, how do you think Hudson's going to do in his first game? Um, I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to put, for me, putting pressure on him. Uh, he doesn't feel the pressure I'm putting on him. But he might not be as good as you think or you're hoping or your expectations are in his first game. He's got to adjust. He's got to, you know, learn the way. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm expecting he'll be good. I don't know that he'll be like that, What you know. This crazy good guy. But I think in his first game, if he comes out and he plays well and he doesn't hurt the team and maybe gets a point, I think that's awesome. So there you go. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you at 7 for the podcast and the watch party. Please join us for that. And that's it. That's all I got. Um, that's it. Yeah. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Uh, stay safe out there. Nobody watches at the end anyway. Peace out, everybody, and I'll see you in a bit. Ciao.